Thank you for visiting the Sigma Metalytics website and checking out this demonstration of the precious metal verifier. As you can see, the unit is compact and portable. To begin, turn the unit on with the button on the lower right. The display will come up and the sensor light will illuminate. The display reads Remove Sample, Push Run Cal Start. Be sure all metals are removed from the sensor area, then press the button that says Run Cal. The green ready light will come on. As you can see, at this point, pure gold is automatically selected and the display reads Ready, Play Sample. Here we have a Buffalo Gold coin. Place it on the sensor and the display shows the black cursor between the brackets, indicating the metal is within range and most likely gold. When this counterfeit gold bullion is placed on the sensor, an arrow pointing to the right appears and the precious metal verifier lets you know the sample is not consistent with gold. Now we are going to change the type of alloy being tested. The precious metal verifier offers several gold alloys to choose from. We have an American Gold Eagle here. Use the arrow key to choose the appropriate alloy, hit Run Cal, and place the sample. The cursor box appears between the brackets, just a pinch to the left, and as mentioned earlier, as long as the box is within the brackets, it is consistent with the expected metal. Let's test a different metal type. The precious metal verifier tests gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Press the down arrow twice to get to the next metal, in this case silver. Here is an American Eagle which is 99.9% .9%, so we press the right arrow to get to that alloy, hit Run Cal, and then place the sample. Notice that this is in an NGC case, but that's not a problem. The verifier can still read through it, and there is that cursor again right between the brackets indicating this is a consistent sample. A wand must be attached for smaller and thinner coins, such as this quarter ounce maple leaf. Attach the wand in the side port. Notice the green sensor light has changed to indicate the wand is the active sensor. The display reads remove sample, push run cal, so push the round cal button and then the sensor will be ready. Now select your metal, in this case pure gold, and press run cal. Then you're ready to measure. You can leave the wand plugged in and use the sensor button to choose between the two sensors. There it is. Be sure to review the instruction guide so you have all the necessary information on how to get the most out of your precious metal verifier.